So it's just gone 6pm and EA have released some content for us. They have given us a player moment, Leon Goretzka. This card was given to him because uh, he raised a bunch of money. Um, according to EA's Twitter, he raised around 3.9 million. So he's been given this Community Champion SBC card. And it looks like a really good item. It's uh, looking fairly similar to the Aaron Ramsey card that we got given not too long ago. So hopefully it's a very good item in game we've got three SBCs to complete so let's go get them done and let's get this card in the club also worth noting this item is in the players section so it's going to be available for the rest of FIFA there is no time period on it which is always a bonus because it means you can eventually grind towards this card if you wish to do that three SBCs to complete then it's one 86 with an inform another 86 with an inform and the third one is an 87 with an inform so this team will cost around 600 to 700k I think off the top of my head, might be wrong, might be right, we'll see in a moment when we get the official price off of their footbin. Now that's all been submitted, we do indeed have ourselves a 91 rated Leon Goretzka heading into the club and like I've already said, it looks like a really, really solid item which has plenty of appealing stats, like the card looks awesome, really good pace, dribbling, shooting, passing and physicals and his defensive stats aren't too bad either and obviously his Shadow Chem style would fix them defensive stats as well. Okay, so let's throw Goretzka into this team and then let's bring up Footbin so we can discuss chem styles for this card. Let's quickly just refresh. Footbin currently doesn't have a price for him, but um, as you can see, um, even without a chem style, this card is very, very highly rated. With a basic chem style, he's a 95 rated centre mid, which is a uh, pretty mad. And um, the chem style I think would be best for this guy is going to be engine to give him that dribbling boost so he doesn't feel as heavy with the ball because all the other stats are really really nice. Um, obviously his defensive stats they're good they're not amazing but they're relatively good you could go with shadow if you wanted to use him as an out and out DM but um, I think engine could be the one for him gives him a nice uh, pace boost helps out his dribbling attributes because obviously his balance stat isn't anything special and also maxes out a couple of uh, passing stats as well or at least gives them a pretty heavy boost which is nice so let me know in the comments below which chem style you would use on this Goretzka item okay then chem style applied let's now take a look at this card um four star weak foot good not amazing would have liked the five star weak foot like Aaron Ramsey got but still a four star weak foot from mid is definitely good enough and um, definitely would have liked the five star weak foot though that would have helped but nonetheless we move on and um, high medium work rates and he stands at six foot two so he's pretty tall for a mid um, in terms of traits, nothing really to discuss because they're all computer ones, but um, there's plenty to discuss in terms of in-game attributes because he's got some really, really nice ones. Uh, the pace column looks brilliant for a midfielder. In-game, I do expect him to feel pretty quick, both when going forward with the ball and when tracking back without it. Um, shooting and stats for a midfielder look brilliant. Um, 88 finishing is awesome. 92 shot power is great, and 97 long shots mean that this guy certainly should be a threat from distance. Um, passing, more of the same, brilliant short passing of 93, good long passing too of 87 with a really high vision stat as well which will definitely help with his uh, range of distribution. Then we come on to the dribbling stats which aside from the balance are great once more, 94 ratings for both reactions and ball control are brilliant to see and 91 in game dribbling rating is also awesome and since he's got the engine chem style that will be boosted to 99 so that is absolutely brilliant it's just a shame his balance isn't a bit better but once again that engine chem style comes in big with that big plus 10 boost defensively um his stand tackle and slide tackle attributes are not amazing but they're good enough for a center mid but it's very good to see that he's got a really high interception rating because that will help out a lot uh, defensive players in fifa normally intercept more than they tackle um anyway so yeah, something to note. Physically, how are we looking? Really good stamina of 93, so no issues there. And a decent uh, combination of balance and strength. His strength isn't, like, fantastic, but it's still pretty good. Uh, jumping start of 80, once again, not amazing, but he's 6'2". That'll be a good enough jumping start. He should be pretty solid aerially. Anyway, we have rambled on for long enough. Let's get into some matches, and let's see if this Goretzka is good value for money or not. For Goretzka's debut, we match up versus a near full Serie Assad with a random foot birthday Chancellor thrown into the mix. Goretzka on the ball early doors, we're going to try and get down the wing with him. Showing a good bit of pace and strength, my opponent's goalkeeper has moved out of position and I tried to slide that into Mbappe and just wasn't successful with it. Chance for Goretzka, we're going to go long with this and Mbappe will get on the end of that because he's just freakishly quick. Nice tackle there by Goretzka, nabbing the ball off of... That icon said off. 
Bappe. Fine, let's go, let's go down this right edge. Can we get the ball back across the box? We can. Oh, Jack Cancela ruining my attack there. Oh, Goretzka. Nice ball roll. Now to link up with the rest of the attack. Got him involved. Going to go for that finesse shot. And unfortunately, it's a bit tame. Probably should have put a bit more on that. Goretzka. Showing good strength there. Did really well to win that battle. Gotta say, he doesn't feel the most agile of players with it. I like the way he just keeps winning the ball back. Nice ball for Mbappe. Oh, that was a great ball for Mbappe, but I was holding sprint. I forgot to release. Slim lead at the break. One goal advantage. Not a bad first half. Gretzka has been heavily involved as well. Quite busy in that engine role. And uh, yeah, tight game. All right, now a chance for Gretzka to bring us forward. Looking for a run. Look, does really well to push off that man there. Gretzka, ball rolls two in a row. And I see that run from Ben Yedda. We're going to try and find him. We do, but unfortunately just couldn't get past Leo Hernandez there. It's Goretzka once more. Does well to turn his man. Then puts through a nice through ball for Mbappe. Who's going to go for the... Ch oh, went for the chip a bit too early. Needed a bit more power in that. Nice ball though by the German. Mbappe. Oh, great bit of play. Chance for Goretzka to end the game. Is it going to go in? Yes, it is. Whew, just. He does get a goal on debut. I was a bit worried. I was a bit worried. I thought the defender was going to get there. The shot didn't have the most power on it after the keeper got a bit of a hand to it. But um, it had enough on it. Nice attacking run. And there is full time. We get ourselves a nice 3-0 victory. And I thought on debut, uh, Gretzka was quite strong as well. Played that midfield box-to-box -box role really nicely. Got involved um, in attacks. Made some really good attacking runs. And also defended quite well too. So, uh... Yeah, pretty happy. His dribbling didn't seem um, amazing, but um, everything else I'm pretty happy with thus far. Our next match, Caesars face this. Um, good side, not particularly anything too flashy, but uh, features some pretty good players like Kaka and Neymar. Bringing us forward, perhaps. Gets the ball through to Mbappe, who's got space now. Can we get the shot away? Not quite. Hierro with a good tackle. Well timed, but we get a free kick for a previous foul. Ball's through. Chance. Goretzka equalizes. That was a really nice finish as well. Right in the corner. Keeper giving absolutely no chance. Just popped up in the right area at the right time. And it's all square. Neuer yeah. pumps the ball into the mix. Should be a win for Goretzka here. Does win the header. Goretzka in a bit of space now. Pulls it back. We're going to go for that finish shot if it opens up. But unfortunately, we are denied by Bartra. Bingetta finds Goretzka. Who's going to find Timo Werner who won't miss from there. Really nice chipped pass there. From Goretzka, and he gets himself an assist as well. Opportunity, Goretzka to come forward now. Does well to keep the ball, and he's put the ball through as well, but Werner's not going to get to that one. Oh, I really do wish Goretzka's agility was a bit better. It'd be, feel so much easier to manoeuvre. He's still a brilliant player with the ball. As we Oh, wow! I can't believe I bottled that. That was a great bit of play. And I've absolutely bottled it. That's an incredible save, nonetheless, from Testegen, but I definitely should have scored there. At the break, we have ourselves a nice 3-1 lead after going behind very early on. Tuny for Goretzka in a bit of space. Oh, I tried to open the shot there. And Neymar's fouled us. Right, I suck at free kicks, so this could go anywhere. This could literally go anywhere. Oh, almost saved onto the bar. Goretzka in space in the box. Can he get it across the box? He can. And Mbappe, oh, I am such a bottler. I'm telling you, foot birthday Mbappe is the best striker in the game. I am just an absolute bottler. Goretzka does well to avoid that challenge and then puts a really nice through ball down the wing for Ben Yedda. Well, randomly, in like the 70th minute, my opponent has decided to rage quit. I say random because although the scoreline was 3-1, it wasn't as if I was battering him. It was... It's relatively close, to be honest. Nonetheless, I thought Goretzka was very, very good in that game. Obviously got himself on the score sheet and got a assist as well. And also just all round, played that centre mid role really, really well. Okay, then after a few more matches with the 91 rated Leon Goretzka in the team, then what's the verdict on the card? Um, Well, you can see from the rating, it's a very good item. It is a very, very good card. Plenty of positives, which we'll discuss in a moment. And, um, yeah, had a lot of fun using the card, to be honest. I really do think this could improve some people's teams. So, uh, let's break things down. First of all, pace for a midfielder, very good. Absolutely brilliant. Quick, uh, both when going forward and coming back, which is fantastic. Very happy with that 
part of his game. In terms of shooting, I thought the long shots and shot power were very good. Finishing wasn't quite as good as I thought it would be, but still, I'm definitely not saying it's bad because for a midfielder, it's still to a very decent standard. Positionally, this is probably one of the things that I'm most impressed with this guy, to be honest. I thought his attacking run-making especially was great. He was popping up in the right areas for me. Even when I was using him as a CDM or as a centre mid, he would just pop up in really, really nice um, areas where I just needed him to uh, join in with the attack. So really happy with that. And his passing also was great. Really, really good, whether it be a short or long pass. The guy distributes really well. Um, Four-star weak foot, so his right foot is definitely stronger than the left. But uh, his left foot actually wasn't that bad for distribution. But um, if this guy had a five-star weak foot, he'd probably be even better, which would make him absolutely insane. But nonetheless, overall passing, big thumbs up. It is great. Now we come on to this guy's dribbling. His ball control is class. It is honestly absolutely ridiculous. So really happy with that. I just wish... He felt a bit more agile and easier to manoeuvre on the ball. With him being a taller player, that was to be expected. He wasn't going to feel as easy to manoeuvre as the smaller players. But still, I just wish he felt a bit better. But saying that, like I said, has really good ball control. And even when knocked off the ball or pushed around, he does recover possession rather easily. And you'll have seen that if you watch the clips. And um, Defensively, he's good. Makes plenty of interceptions, which is nice. Um, his stand tackling and side tackling, it's not super strong, but it's good enough for a centre mid role. If I was going to use him as a DM, I would probably maybe put Shadow on him just to, or another defensive um, heavy game style just to help him out in that department. But um, happy with his inter interceptions and his stand tackle and side tackle are good enough, but they're not amazing. And um, finally, physically, how is this guy? Uh, really liked his stamina, didn't seem to tie for me, which was great. Aerially, he seemed relatively strong as well, which was nice. And uh, showed really good aggression in game to fight for the ball and to uh, keep hold of it as well. His strength isn't like ridiculously good, but it's good enough to hold off um, certain players for a bit of time. But the top tier defenders will be able to knock him off the ball, obviously, especially the super strong ones. Overall, though... Really happy with this card. I think it's a really, really good centre mid item. And if you're on with a Bundesliga side, I think it's a bit of a no-brainer, to be honest. But do I recommend picking up this card right this very moment? No. I would wait until the Bundesliga team of the season comes out and then see what Bundesliga midfield options we get from that before committing to this card. With this uh, player SBC not having a time uh, frame on it, you've got plenty of time to grind for this card and slowly um, collect untradeables to complete it even cheaper as well. So, uh... Yeah, do recommend getting this card if you're on a Bundesliga team, but I wouldn't recommend uh, getting it straight away unless you've got plenty of coins. Anyway, guys, that is my review of the 91-rated Leon Goretzka player moments item. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like rating on it. In the comments, let me know your thoughts on this card. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.